to all my friends and followers welcome back to my channel i hope you all are in amazing shape today's vlog of mine will definitely take you to a different level of elation and mindfulness so sit tight and travel with me through one of the most scenic highways on earth the sea to sky corridor this year it was white christmas in vancouver it snowed heavily on the christmas day We were traveling to our destination right after that. The roads were cleared off the snow by the city's municipality, but the snow-capped trees on both sides of the road created a mystic environment. Keep an eye on the fresh snow-covered pine forest and the mountain ranges all along the corridor. <music> Highway 99 as it is known as is 120 kilometers long and takes about 2 hours from Vancouver to Pemberton passing through Squamish about halfway it ends at lilowet it's a drive with incredible sights at just about every turn highway is taking us to our destination for the day you must be thinking where am i going and taking you along am i going to pemberton or going to lilowet any guesses you can put your answer in the comment section below Today I will let you immerse in the beauty of this road as we drive through it and do less of chatting.
the water body you see on my left is not any of the Great Lakes. It's the Pacific Ocean. Hugging the coast all the way to the top of the Hoi Sound Fjord, you are guaranteed to get some spectacular scenery along the way and a number of scenic viewpoints where you can stop and safely enjoy the views. This is regarded as one of the best road trip destinations in the world. This two-lane scenic route takes you along the Pacific Ocean coast and the rugged mountain peaks. Along the way, you will immerse in the spectacular scenery of the snow-capped mountains dotted with the thriving rainforests. As we were driving through the south of Squamish, we observed on the map that there is a third largest waterfall en route. This waterfall's name is the Shannon Falls and it is located within the Shannon Falls Provincial Park. We took the icy road exit and were driving towards the falls. I think this falls will be all frozen because the temperature outside is minus 30 degrees centigrade. Let's see, let's check it out. There is a short hike to the base of the falls. And as we anticipated, the whole falls was frozen. As we moved closer to the fall, we saw a small portion of the fall still flowing. I hope you can see that. It was as if the water was gushing out of the thin air. It was an amazing view. We all have seen the mighty waterfall like Niagara Falls, but this was a different view altogether. so serene and peaceful. Now it's time for us to hit the road again. Till now this has been an epic road trip for me. As I travel across beautiful British Columbia, this is just a prequel to what you are going to view in my upcoming vlogs. I consider myself lucky that I have been able to bring this to you and I hope you find this experience relaxing and therapeutic. 
प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल सो दैट यू डोंट मिस माई अपकमिंग ब्लॉग्स टिल देन स्टे सेफ एंड टेक केयर